as Jeff and Wilmer of Budrum, as a serious beekeeper over the last 27 years, people are asking me what I think of the latest craze in beekeeping, the flow hive. I think the flow hive is an incredible, clever invention. The marketing technique using crowdfunding is also very clever. Remember that no one will be able to try it out for themselves until the estimated delivery date of December 2015. People in the US will receive midwinter, so no one up there will know how effective they are until roughly 15 plus months after payment. Here in Australia, 10 to 12 months after payment. The only information we have to date is what we see in the crowdfunding video. There is no opportunity for someone to try for themselves to give positive or negative feedback, only what we see on their video. Now what do I think based on what I see? Well first of all, i found that bees don't like working on plastic. i found they avoid plastic where possible. The second is the flow hive takes up a lot of bee space top and bottom. But it's the bee space on the side that is completely lost that concerns me the most. The bees need to be able to circulate air right through the hive in order to effectively dewater the honey to ripen it. I have found on many occasions over the years that the queen will make her way up into the honey section. This could be problematic if this happens if this happens with a flow hive. I have found on many occasions the bees store pollen in honey frames. I don't know how it would be if that happened in a flow hive. I have also found that on the odd occasion a worker bee will start laying drone eggs up in the honey super. Uh, this could also be problematic with the flow hive. They say that after the honey is extracted, the bees chew the cappings and start again. Well, what happens to the wax? How much wax builds up, reducing the amount of honey that can be stored and possibly making it harder to re, uh, and making it harder to separate. On this video, they make robbing the bees the old way look clumsy and difficult. I believe I make it look easy and I'm approaching 70 years old. They claim that a full box of honey yields 20 kilos. I get 25 kilos of honey per full box, plus I get the wax. Let's talk about pricing. A box, an 8 frame box, unpainted, costs $60 US. Uh, on today's money, that's $77 Australian, plus shipping. An unpainted box normally costs around $25. The frames. By buying seven frames, it costs $400 US plus shipping. That works out to $73 per frame Australian. A wood slash wax frame will set you back five or six dollars. Let's talk about small hive beetle. Small hive beetle is a major problem to beekeepers today. I would hate to see one of these flow hives infested with small hive beetle larvae. Then there's AFB. I wonder how one of these hives would go if the hive succumbed to AFB. Do you burn your $460 US box and frames? They advise newbies to join the beekeeping club. I was talking to a bloke the other day who went to a beekeeping club meeting and found a heap of people with heaps of problems and no answers. I have seen a lot of people take on bees over the past 27 years and very few have stuck it out. Not because it's too hard to extract the honey but because of the challenges associated with getting the bees to the point of actually getting honey to rob. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.